this week on Carolina All Out. It is pitch black outside, and we're going flounder yigging. Oh, we got a pretty nice one here. Look at oh, look at here. Here's a good one. That's a good fish. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, go for it. There he goes, right there. Another nice flounder we're going to bite the dinner on. <laughs> Good cool. Flatfish and tidal pools. This is Carolina All Out. season in North Carolina and the All Out crew is making the three hour track from home base in Lemon Springs back to Carteret County and the Crystal Coast to hang out with longtime friend and someone who's familiar to our viewers, Mike Laws of Harker's Island. Back in season two, Chris experienced flounder gigging on Cape Lookout with Mike by walking an ankle to knee deep water using a single rod known locally as a walking gig. Mike has improved his setup since then, with even brighter lights and longer lasting batteries. And Chris is anxious to get out and light them up. Well, as you can see, we are wired up and it is pitch black outside and we're going flounder yigging. We are back with our good friend, Mike Laws. We've done this here on Cape Lookout before and it was very popular. People love the show, so we knew we had to get out and do it again. The season is restricted now considerably more. So Mike, how many are we allowed a piece? Yeah, we're allowed uh, four fish and uh, we're going to do our best to make that uh, count with four big fish. Four big fish, going to be working in tidal pools this year. So we're excited about showing you guys what's up. You ready to go? We're ready to go. All right, you lead the way because he knows. <laughs> Okay, there's a flounder laying there. Look how shallow water he's in. I mean, he is, he's in one inch of water. And those fish are dancing all around his yep. face. Yep. I mean, he could just, let, they're right on, look at that, right on his eyes. Oh, we got a pretty nice one here. Look at that. Oh, look at here, here's a good one. It's a pretty nice fish. That's a good fish. Yeah. Okay. He's not quite buried. So let's go ahead and get right in before he gets gone. Here, I'm going to get him right behind that gill plate. You look about right, Mike. Yeah, you better get him. <laughs> I had to get him before he got. <laughs> oh, looky here, y'all. Let's show you something here. There you go. That is our flounder that we have here on the coast of North Carolina, all up and down the Atlantic coast there, but how cool is that? So we've got this fish on the spear. We drove it through this side of him. So all we need to do now, we slide him up. He goes over that and he slides to the bottom end of that line there and we just keep on going and we'll just stack them up. Well, we'll stack them at least four. We'll stack four high. <laughs> we'll How's stack that? four high. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, that was great. Yep, yep. It's nice so fish. good to be back out here doing this again. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Yeah, he looks like he's got some. I can see a big bed right there. Wow, that was a big one. Bigger than the other, don't you think? He is bigger than the other. Looks like he's got some thickness to him too. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. I can see a whole lot more to him now. 
Yeah, well let's uh Mike, you do the honors on this one. You found him. Oh, hold on. There we go. <laughs> what a fish got a you. A fish ran up in my hand there. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna there slide go. him up. There you go. Mike, Mike does the foot technique. There you go. Slides right down on that uh, line and he'll hold on back there while we keep on fishing. See all the bait fish, look at that. That's why they're here. Oh, here's a little bigger one. We might need to take this one. All right, go for it. <laughs> I must have hit him in the brain. There you go. <laughs> Yep, there you go, Mike. Yep, that's number two. Number two, fillets. Yep. yep. Beautiful fish. It's a good place for a big one. To the right. Check this one out to the right first. Oh, right yeah, there. that's definitely a bigger that one than that one. Right there. All right, so we got it all the lights down. I'm going to bring it right down. You ready? Yep. Oh, we got a live one there. It's a good 18 inch fish, Chris. Yeah. Maybe 19 inches. Beautiful fish. Oh, they're just so pretty. Yeah. Don't go away. More flounder gigging action when we come back. Carolina All Out is brought to you by Agri Supply. It's what's inside. Carolina Cooker, Tools, Cooks, Legends. The North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission celebrating 75 years of wildlife conservation. Chat Lee Boat and Marine, the South's premier boating superstore, and by D&H RV and Marine, your truck camper destination in the Southeast. We'll be back with more Carolina All Out. There he goes, right there. Look at him buried right down in there. He hid, hid. that's cool. He showed us just exactly how he works. He just moved up to that point and did a little wiggle and he was in the sand and now he's just about invisible. The winds are high and this is making it harder to peer clearly down to the sandy floor to see the flounder, but the boys are determined to work through it. It's gotta be one piece of Oh, I think I see. Well, there he is, yeah. Yep, I see the eyes right there. Yeah. Well, I think he looks legal to me. Man, we got him there. That's a darker flounder. Yeah, he's pretty though. Yes, he is. Just a... Uh... Nice, help, healthy, thick fish. Yep, I can really feel that meatiness in him. I'm gonna enjoy eating this guy. Well, it's getting later into the night now, and uh, we have passed up quite a few looking for some bigger ones. It just looks like the it's pretty much the, all the same size for the most part. There's some smaller ones, but we haven't seen anything really much bigger than... 17, 19 inches. Yeah. Yeah. Think a little more about the dinner tables to the trophy. Oh yeah, I think about yeah. But I think about that. That's right. Think about that fryer. Yeah. That's that hot grease. That's what I'm thinking about. Yeah. Yes, sir. Here's a legal fish if you want him, Chris. Mm. That's, a, that's a decent fish. Yeah, that's a good one. There's another one laying over here. They were just now finding them. Yeah. There we go. He's coming right by you, right up under you. Chris, I think I see one up there. Pretty oh, good ways up yeah. there. Oh yeah, I see the profile. Yeah, that's always a good good yeah. thing to see, isn't it? Yeah. A little yeah. deeper water too, so he might be a little bit better one, huh? Yeah. It's a nice fish. Yeah. About 18 inches, 20 inches. Whenever you're ready. Another nice flounder we're going to invite to dinner, aren't we? <laughs> yes, we are. I am looking forward to it. I'm telling you, we so many people don't know the difference between fresh flounder like this and what you buy in the stores. It's almost a completely different fish. Oh, it's unbelievable how good this will be tomorrow night. Oh my gosh. Yeah, looking looking forward to it. Yeah. 
Uh, I'll take this one. I don't think any doubt he's dead, too. Yeah, yeah he ain't worth that fish there, Mike. Yeah. About a 17-inch fish. Nice. Nice. The boys end the night with a limited flounder apiece and load up to head back for a good night's rest and prepare for day two of the North Carolina flounder season in a new area of the Crystal Coast. We'll be back with more flounder gigging action after these messages. The Fishbone Facts, brought to you by the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. What does the state record flounder weigh? A, 18.9 pounds, B, 20.8 pounds, or C, 27.2 pounds? Find out the answer after the break. Carolina All Out is brought to you by the North Carolina Marine and Estuary Foundation. Think Coastal. Bear Creek Arsenal, performance through innovation. Farms and Land Realty, selling land is what we do. Montgomery Community College, blaze your trail. And by Creek Boats, the ultimate in small boating. We'll be back with more Carolina All Out. The Fishbone Facts, brought to you by the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. What does the state record flounder weigh? The answer is B, 20.8 pounds. Learn more about our state's fisheries and where to go at ncwildlife.org. Mike and Chris have rested up and are ready for another long night of gigging. This time they're in a new area hoping for a repeat of the night before. Okay, we just dropped Leon and Jeff off. You can see them over there working. We're gonna make a move out of here, go down, and we're gonna make our way to them. We're gonna kinda of meet in the middle. We should have flounder all around the area. It's not like the season's been in for a long time. This is the first time really everybody's been able to get out because of the weather. So we'll see if we're the first ones here. You ready? Yep, okay, we got one right here. I don't know if you guys can see him. I'm gonna make a move on him pretty quick because they're a little bit spooky right here. Hold him down. Pretty good fish. Yeah, he's a pretty good one. He's as good as we've had this year. Let's get him up here for everybody to see this guy. Yeah, this is a good one. See that one there? Nice looking fish. I'd like to make a better gig on him, but We'll take it, right? <laughs> That's what they're supposed to look like right there. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what they're supposed to look like right there. Oh, Mike. <laughs> you ready? It's a cool fish, man. Cool fish and very happy and good eating. Oh my gosh. What a great eating fish. Fantastic eating fish. Slide him down the bottom. Put him in the water here. The 2021 flounder season in North Carolina saw a decrease in the season length, and the 2022 season will only allow for one fish per person. Think Coastal is an organization that was formed to initiate research, education, and policy that will support sustainable marine resources and habitats in our great state. Think Coastal's Director of Development, Chad Thomas, shares a little about some of the reasons for these changes and also a little hope for the future. Most of the fisheries in North Carolina are what you would call depleted. The potential is there, but, but change has to occur. And change happens in many different ways. And there's nothing as important as protecting critical habitats. Speaking specifically about flounder, the, the populations of flounder right now are depleted. And that's why our seasons are short. So to have robust fisheries, 
not only does it generate a good time for those who like to gig or those who like to catch flounder hook and line or those who their entire income is supported by you know, commercial fishing for flounder but when we have strong robust flounder fisheries we're going to have people who want to come and and see these fisheries and be part of these fisheries and the whole economy thrives if the fisheries are robust so so that's the idea behind think coastal is not just having fisheries that are what you'd even call stable. But how do we get to world class? So we'd love to have you visit thinkcoastal.com for more information. Don't go away, we'll be back with more flounder action and a special filet and fry piece after the break. Carolina All Out is brought to you by the Dixie Deer Classic, Buckshot Tree Stands, High and Dry Waders, Ugly Buck Wildlife Products, and by these fine sponsors. We'll be back with more Carolina All Out. Welcome to Appetite for the Outdoors, brought to you by Carolina Cooker. I am Chef Paul Rhodes, and today we're doing kind of our take on baked flounder. So we've got some fresh caught flounder, two cups of french fried onion, about a half cup of flour, three eggs, and then we've got some lemon zest, salt and pepper, and of course, Carolina Cooker's Cajun seasoning. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go ahead and whip up the eggs, and then we're gonna take a little bit of the Carolina Cooker Cajun seasoning, and we're gonna put some of that in here. So we're gonna take that flour, we're gonna throw that right in here in this bag. We're gonna take a little salt and pepper, and we're gonna just season both sides of the fish here. We're gonna take about a three quarter of a teaspoon of lemon zest. We're gonna throw that right into the fried onions. We're gonna take the fish fillets. We're gonna put it here in the bag of flour. We're gonna put the floured fish into the egg. And then we're gonna set it right here on the onion. Skin side down on the pan. And then we're gonna repeat with this one. We're gonna go ahead and bake this off at 400 degrees. Now, the one thing you wanna remember is not to overcook your fish, so make sure you check it probably around the 10 to 12 minute mark. All right, so this is our baked flounder. I'm Chef Paul Rose with Carolina Cooker. And remember, wild game doesn't need to be intimidating. It just needs to be prepared properly to make delicious meals at home. It's been a long two nights of the North Carolina flounder season and the boys are still on a mission to limit out. Well, we've been at it for a little bit and uh, we've got a few fish and um, I'm getting close to, the, to my limit and then uh, Mike's still got a few left to go so uh, we could round this evening out to be something nice and you can't beat, you can't beat flounder gigging out here. Look, the weather's perfect. It's a short season we know, but you know, conditions are right right now, so we're gonna take advantage of it while we can. And having fun all the way around. Love it. Oh, that's illegal. Yeah, that's illegal. You got a big one? He's legal. He's definitely no doubt about him being. Yep. All right, we got a good one right here. And this will round out the day. Round it out today. Yeah. Flounder gigging in North Carolina. I love it. Hey, look, with a flag in the background. Ain't that cool? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I got to show everybody that. America, how proud are we of this? Being able to do this kind of fishing here in our great state, in our great country, with friends who think alike. It's a great opportunity. You got to try it if you get a chance. Season's really short this year, but we hope that as time moves on that the season will relax and uh, we can do this kind of thing all through the summer. Um, but I just took a really nice uh, flounder and I'm limited out with a good old red, white, and blue flying in the background. How great is that? <laughs> With limits complete, the coolers are full and Mike invites friend and longtime charter captain Bill Bittman over to give a lesson in filleting our state's beloved flatfish. Well, after a long night of fishing here on Cape Lookout, we are back with some flounder at Mike's place and we're here with Bill Bittman. 
Bill's a neighbor and he's been so gracious to come over and show us a little bit about filet and flounder. But Bill, you are from New Jersey originally, correct? I'm originally from New Jersey and I ran a charter boat up in New Jersey for like 40 years. Wow, so uh, what brought you down to North Carolina? I came down here look, chasing the uh, giant bluefins in 2005 and 2006. And uh, I, I like I like the area so much and the people are so great, I decided to retire and move here. I moved here in 2009. So we got a guy here that loves North Carolina just like we do. So Bill, give us an explanation while you're making it happen. Okay, the way I do this is I make two fillets out of the fish. I make a cut high on the head, and down across the, the stomach area. Then I follow the backbone all the way down the center I lift up the flounder, mm -hmm. I file the backbone around, just cut down like this. Wow. And there's our filet. Look at there. One filet, there ain't hardly a lick of meat on that side. Check that out, guys. So I do the same thing. I find the stomach area, cut like that. Then I just come right down the center line with the knife. Since flounder season's been closed so long, I'm a little rusty here. There you There's go. There's your filet. Look at that. See through that guy. Isn't that cool? Well, Bill, just this very simple uh, display right here makes me very happy to see these kind of fillets sitting out here. This means- Makes me very hungry. <laughs> it does me too. Thank you so much for showing us. We got quite a few more to do and I hope you'll help me do them. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we're gonna cook these things a little bit later on. We'll show you guys what that's all about. You guys gotta hang around for that. Ooh, yeah, look at that. What a way to end a great gigging trip here on the Cape Lookout on the Southern Outer Banks, eating fresh flounder that we just gigged this morning. And, uh, Mike, I always appreciate you letting us come out. We've done so much with Mike over the years, and we're gonna to continue to do it because it's just such good fishing down here, and it's a great place to go. Guys, I'm Chris Douglas for Carolina All Out, and remember, our state is your next adventure. Daisy.